Welcome to basic bipedric series. I am your instructor Rohan Page. In this video, we will see how we can create leg joints for our bipedric setup. What will be our workflow? We will create a leg setup with the help of joint tool. Then we will mirror the leg joints to get the second leg joints for our setup. Let's start with the session. This is our model where we are going to start with biped rigging. Now, the first thing we need to start with is creating a setup for leg. To do so, make sure that you are in animation module. Go to skeleton joint tool. Click on the joint tool. Go to side view, hold spacebar, left mouse and you can change this perspective view into any other view. I want to change it to right view. Press 4 on your keyboard, control space if you want to work in an expert mode. Starting with this pelvis joint. This is a knee joint. Do not create this joint uh, straight in a straight line as we will have to uh, get uh, some kind of a uh, bend for the leg. So I'll move this knee joint in a little bit forward direction. Then the third joint, place it at the ankle. Next joint will be at ball joint this is a ball joint and this will the last joint will be called as toe joint so go back to perspective hold spacebar left mouse button perspective view press enter on your keyboard you will have to move this joint and place it properly according to the requirement so you can turn on wireframe on shaded this is at the panel menu you will have this shortcut over here if you want to see joints and surface then we can turn on this option called as x-ray joint you can see the joints also now i want to place these joints properly as you know that we cannot have a rotation value over here for the joints because i will have to keep these options at zero zero only at the default position so one thing you can do is with the help of move tool, you can move these joints separately or else you can orient these joints. First of all, I'll go to attribute editor perspective or you can go to front view. There is an option over here called as orient joint X, Y and Z axis. This is going to rotate your joint, but there will be no changes in the rotational values. So I want to rotate it in Y. So just click on Y, block, control, middle mouse, drag. Sorry. We'll have to rotate in Z. So go to Z block and then click over there. You will get the cursor, hold control, middle mouse and drag. The value will get increased and you can see how it is getting rotated over here. So place it like this. Go to again perspective view. I'll select this joint, orient. Okay. To, if you want to uh, reduce the overall size of the joint because it's too much. So if you want to uh, have a less size for the joint, you can go to display animation. There you will have the option called as joint size and reduce the size. Right. Go to front, check it out whether you are, the placement of the joints are proper. With the help of insert or you can hold D to move only single joint.
you can turn off surface selection with the help of selection masks over here so there you will be having a surface selection mask at the status bar so the fourth icon represents surface selection which you can turn it off so that if you'll click on the surface surface will not get selected it makes easy to select uh, joints of that respective uh, surface now the important part when you are rigging a biped or any kind of a character there has to be naming convention for the joint so for renaming these joints i'll select first of all this joint go to channel box and rename it so to rename it i'll just turn on caps lock and i am renaming it as l l for left l pelvis 01 so 01 we will be using at a hierarchy 01 if after rigging uh, if after rigging of this complete character animator want to have another duplicate of this character then that hierarchy will get renamed as 02 so that's why we are using this 01 uh, hierarchy for this one press enter on your keyboard to go downwards toward hierarchy you can press down arrow on your keyboard and rename it as L underscore knee 01. Go to the next bone with the help of down arrow key. The next one is L underscore ankle 01. L underscore ball 01. L underscore to zero 01 so right now i am having five joints for my leg setup that is l pelvis knee ankle ball and toe joint now i want to have the same setup at the opposite side for the right leg you just need to select this uh, left leg pelvis after selecting it you can see that the whole hierarchy of the leg is getting selected so select that uh, pelvis joint go to skeleton here we have an option called as mirror joint go to its option box so you need to select the proper mirror uh, axis where you will get the mirror of the selected joint so if i'll select x y and apply you can see that it is having uh, it is duplicating the uh, selected joint in x uh, y axis but i want it in y z so i'll select y z axis now as you know that if i'll just select the axis and apply it is duplicating that respective joint setup at opposite side but the naming convention remains the same l pelvis and it got a second duplicate that's why the hierarchy has been renamed as 02 i don't want to have such kind of naming convention and go manually and change it to r pelvis 1 r knee 1 what you can do at the time of mirror only select this joint setup with proper respective mirror axis and over here we have an option search for replace with i want computer to search for l underscore that is my naming convention uh, prefix l underscore and replace it with r underscore now mirror it so you will get the duplicate of the selected hierarchy renamed with proper prefix that is r underscore pelvis 01 r knee 01 r ankle 01 r ball 01 r toe 01 and that is how we have created our second setup of leg now we need to create one more joint which will be handling these two legs that is pelvis joint go to front view joint tool i'll create one joint over here press enter on your keyboard i'll just select these two i'll move little bit down over here go to side view make sure the placement of this hip joint is proper Select the joint and rename it as hip01. So hip will be the parent for both the pelvis joint. 
you need to select both pelvis joint with the help of shift then shift select main joint that is your hip joint it will be a parent and press p so that will parent both the selected joints to hip now you can see my hip joint is the parent for both the legs So this was about creating a leg setup for our biped rig. In next uh, chapter, we will see how we can create a spine setup for torso. Let us see what we have learned. What we learned in this video. We have seen that there are five joints for leg setup. We need to rename the joints with proper naming conventions. Pelvis, knee, ankle, ball and toe. These are the names for our leg joints. For any query, you can follow me on Facebook. You can write me an email on rohan.pageanimator at gmail.com. You can subscribe to my channel Rohan Page or you can uh, follow my Google Classroom with this following code. Thank you.